you, Chelsea, you can, what, what else are you bringing with you when you went out to Minneapolis, for example, um, that you weren't bringing out um, the year before? Um, well, <laughs> uh, I was fully entertainment before this. So, uh, I'd covered one protest before, which was basically the day that Trump got elected, uh, the first time. And that was pretty crazy. And that was pretty much my only experience. And then I covered, covered a couple of women's day things, which, you know, weren't really aggressive protests at all. So after a while on the streets and realizing I was going to Minneapolis, I uh, requested and Shutterstock was very kind to oblige um, a bulletproof vest, a helmet, ballistic goggles, and um, I'm missing one. Bulletproof vest, helmet, ballistic goggles. Oh, and a gas mask. Gas mask. So uh, I, I had all of those. And the first time I went out to Mini, um, I definitely, I think most of us definitely weren't expecting uh, guilty on all accounts. So I went out to, uh, I started out at the courthouse and then I saw it was mostly media. So I changed my uh, location very last second and I went to George Floyd Square, which is an area of the city that has been blocked off for about three blocks in every direction. And um, it's the location where he was murdered. And the community has turned it into this really beautiful uh, community place with like a garden and a library and a sort of museum tribute uh, area, as well as like a giant memorial. Um, everyone's seen the blue painting that's on the side of uh, Cup Foods where he passed. So I went out there in full gear, um, full bulletproof vest, and that thing is super heavy and it was really hot. And uh, I was running around, and you know, by the end of the day, my neck and shoulders were killing me. But uh, as soon as, you know, it was, it was guilty on all counts, I realized, you know, there was going to be no need for that, thank goodness. And, um, but I still take it out occasionally, um, more so when I go to the um, one side versus the other's uh, protests, you know, um, the right tend to be a little more Second Amendment, um, right. you know, happy and, uh, I have that in my car always. So if things get a little too, a little too hairy, I'll, I'll go and grab that. But uh, the helmet's always strapped to my backpack as well as the goggles for um, a last minute thing and gas mask quite often if I know it's gonna be a, a police situation um, or if I'm at a, at a right wing uh, rally, there's always a gas mask because um, at least in LA, they are very, very fond of bear mace. So I try to, yeah, I mean, I, I guess like a lot of that equipment was really reserved for for a lot of photographers who were working more overseas with more conflict kind of photography. And I'm sure a lot of people didn't think that, you know, photographers kind of would need it, uh, need that type of equipment um, in L.A., in Washington, in New York, in Portland. Um, I, I know right after the uh, right before uh, right before the inauguration this year. Um, obviously, after uh, January 6th, things got pretty, pretty, um, uh, pretty hairy down in D.C. And actually, photographers uh, who were covering the inauguration were actually forbidden for taking any personal equipment into the barrier inside the, um, the uh, secured area um, um, uh, because they didn't want to be confused as protesters. Uh, the police uh, didn't want them to be, um, uh, yeah, confused as so they weren't allowed actually to bring it in, um, uh, which made things even a little bit more dangerous for photographers there. Uh, There's definitely been uh, laws and things, I, I wouldn't even call them laws, uh, I don't know what they'd be called, mandates um, that have been put in very last minute during different weeks of protesting where they're like suddenly, you know, it's a felony if you have a shield with you or a helmet, or it's a felony if we see a gas mask on you and you're arrested, that's a felony and we don't care if you're pressed or not. So um, I've taken my chances and kept my gear with me in certain instances, just because, you know, my safety is a little more important than me getting arrested. And Shutterstock has definitely made sure that I've been covered, um, especially in Minneapolis, they had you know, a lawyer on call for me, uh, just in case something happened, which has been amazing. But I never thought I'd be writing, you know, phone numbers and Sharpie across my arm and my abdomen, just in case um, right. going out to a job before either. Right. So 